Each of you has children with this guy, is that right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And for some reason, each of you think that he's important enough for you to get on each other's last nerve, which is what this case is all about. You claim, Ms. Grant, that the defendant, because you pursued James for child support and finally was successful in having his wages garnished, that the defendant embarked on a course of conduct designed to damage you in your business. She wrote things on the Internet that were not true about you, and she wrote them maliciously. That's what you're claiming. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Smith, on the other hand, says, well, I did write those things, but everything that I wrote about her and her business was true. That's what you said in your answer. Yes. Right? Yes. And she has a counterclaim. She says, well, she had a new baby with him, and baby was not even two months old, and you called Child Protective Services and reported that she was neglecting the child, and they came to her house, and it created a an unpleasant experience for her. That's what she says. That's her counterclaim, among other things that you posted nasty things about her, whatever. So the first thing I have to find out is who is this prize package that two women are fighting <laughs> over? <laughs> Which is why I actually asked James to stand up. So, James, how old are you? I'm 27. And what do you do for a living? I'm an installer. Installer of what? At a billiard. I know you're an installer. Yeah, I'm an I'm a installer at a billiards pool table company. And how long have you been working for them? Uh, about a year. How many children do you and the plaintiff have together? One. How many children do you and the defendant have together? One. Do you have any other children? No. You had to think about that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know that there was a hesitation. Yeah, well, there's one that I'm going through some issues with right now that... What I does that mean? It, it's not 100% sure if I'm actually the father of the first one or not. And how old is that child? She's seven. You earn enough money to have all these children? Not exactly, ma'am. You know, there are things that you can do to prevent that. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> how old is the child that you two have together? Two and a half, Your Honor. Did you and James ever live together? Partially. Now, you have to hesitate. Partially. Partially. I had to hesitate. <laughs> if somebody asked me, did I ever live with Partially, the father yes. of one of my children, I would say no or yes. Did you ever live together? Yes. From when to when? November 2014, probably about six to six months after that, and he moved with his mom during my pregnancy. So he would just come on his off days and the other days, the weekends. And after he moved in with his mother, after six months, did he stay with his mother? Yes, ma'am. And he would come and visit you? And did you have a daughter or a son? With him, I have a son. And until when did he come back and forth to visit you, that you still thought you were a couple? Till what we month? We got out of a relationship December 2016. And when did you meet him? Um, I met him, I've known him since middle school. So I've known him. Well, when did you time. start to have a relationship um, with him? I would say we didn't really have a full on relationship until January 2016. January of 2016? That's when the relationship actually fully started, but we were talking for that. And when did you become pregnant? Uh, I became pregnant, I would say, in March 2017. Did you know that he had a girlfriend at the time you started to see him? No. Uh, well, I was under the impression that... He was living with his mother. Yes, and, and that they nobody. were no longer involved at the point in time. You must live closer to his mother. I do. <laughs> <laughs> About five minutes away. We used to call that when we were young you remember what you used to call that bird? Geographically suitable. <laughs> <laughs> it's that true. Part. I grew up in Brooklyn, and if you met a young man in Queens, they would say, well, it's really geographically unsuitable. You know, I could probably have the same kind of girl from Queens. I didn't have to travel from right. Queens to Brooklyn. You understand? Right.